The news about Amazon's Jeff Bezos planning a trip or taking a trip into orbit, space tourism is a very, very hot topic right now. Yeah, but we're still a long way from that being a real possibility for most of us. Kind of pricey. <laughs> Tiffany Craig connects the dots. It feels like we've been talking about space tourism for decades, but it could finally be launching into reality. Let's connect the dots. In April of 2001, wealthy businessman Dennis Tito paid 20 million bucks for a seat on a Russian Soyuz. It was pricey for a short trip, and since then only seven people have followed suit. According to reports, NASA's always been hesitant to allow tourists to travel with astronauts. It was really only the Russians looking to cover costs that were willing to let tourists on board. But now, with the rise of private companies, options to travel into space are popping up left and right. Blue Origin is planning a suborbital flight on July 20th. While Jeff Bezos and his brother will be on board, they'll also be a winner of an online auction. And in September, SpaceX is launching four civilian astronauts into space on board the Crew Dragon capsule. Despite these promising steps, it hasn't been smooth sailing. Virgin Galactic is the other big private player when it comes to space tourism. A pilot was killed in a crash in 2014, and engineers were forced to make changes. Now it says it won't launch tourists until 2022. Then there's the price. Depending on the trip, Tickets range from 55 million to 200,000, keeping the stars out of reach for most of us. Connecting the dots, I'm Tiffany Craig, KHOU 11 News.